Hello everyone and welcome to the Cisco Catalyst YouTube channel. I am Kate Grisnova and I'm a technical marketing engineer with the Catalyst 9000 switching team. Today we will be discussing what is new in iOS XC 17.11.1. This release brings enhanced features which will be unique to Cisco and serve as key differentiators for Cisco. It is a standard maintenance release and has a support timeline of 12 months. Here is a high level view of features introduced across platform, security, fabric solutions, and programmability across the Catalyst 9000 switching platforms. On the platform side, custom SDM template allows for optimal Catalyst 9400X switch positioning and Catalyst 9200CX joins the rest of the switching family in supporting the Bonjour solution. In the security domain, our platforms offer expanded IPsec feature set, optimizing network placement of the 9300X and 9400X platforms. Silicon One-based 9500X and 9600X join the rest of the Catalyst switching in supporting BGP EVPN solution. Speaking of BGP EVPN, several other new features were introduced, including support for SGT-based micro-segmentation in addition to private VLAN-based micro-segmentation and EVPN address family route maps. We are introducing new 9200CX, 8VDC, and MGIG models, which are scheduled to ship in the third quarter of 2023. These are compact fanless access layer switches. For the first time, MaxSec256 is being introduced on the entire 9200CX family. The switches come with fast and perpetual PoE. For the first time, HVDC is being brought to the Cisco Catalyst line of switches. These three variants will enable HVDC needs of the smartest of smart building deployments. Available in 12 and 8 port variants with 1 gig data and PoE plus ports or M gig ports and 60 watt 8.2.3 BT PoE. The SKUs have a built in 350 watt HVDC power supplies and have safety grid inlets. The M gig model has an AC power supply and supports 8.2.3 BT Type 3 Class 6 60 watt PoE power on all ports with a PoE budget of 240 watts. Entire 9200CX family has a diverse set of members which fulfill a spectrum of use cases. Since the release 1701, the 9500X 60L4D platform was introduced. This is a 1RU switch with port density and speed flexibility to support a condensed core deployment. This platform is based on the Cisco Silicon One ASIC. It includes uplink speeds up to 400 gig, support for LAN and WAN MACSEC, reversible airflow, and unmatched flexibility in device positioning with custom SDM templates. Starting in 17.11.1, this device supports also StackWest virtual topology, which allows redundancy with multi-chassis ether channel. The StackWest Virtual Topology supports up to 8 ports in the StackWest Virtual Link with speeds up to 400 gig. Prior to 17.11.1, only the access layer template was available on 9400X, which allocated switch resources appropriately if only for an access layer positioning. Starting with 17.11.1, the SDM template is customizable, which offers dynamic allocation of switch resources to fit the device's role in the network. Some of the customizable features include route scale, net flow, MPLS labels, PBR, and ACLs. This allows the 9400X to be positioned as a distribution or a collapsed core device, making it more versatile and economical. Innovations in secure fabric solutions include point-to-point -point MACSEC encryption of MPLS links. This feature supports Layer 2 and Layer 3 MPLS VPNs as well as MPLS over dark fiber. Continuing our discussion of fabric innovations, these are some of the new capabilities introduced in BGP EVPN fabric. 
Per VLAN, ASI enhancement allows VLAN-based single active load balancing on the CE device and SGT-based microsegmentation in addition to private VLAN-based microsegmentation is now supported in BGP EVPN fabric. The Silicon One based platforms 9500X and 9600X now support BGP, spine, leaf, and border roll in the EVPN fabric. The implementation of IPsec on the 9300X platform is now enhanced with GRE over IPsec support. This allows the 9300X to serve as a versatile edge device connecting to legacy platforms supporting GRE. Continuing on the IPsec theme, the 9400X now supports NAT traversal over IPsec. This brings the 9400X IPsec implementation closer to feature parity with other platforms and allows for a more flexible switch deployment. With the transition to IPv6, most modern devices are IPv6 capable, but many older devices are IPv4 only. Starting with release 17.11.1, there's support for prefix 64 in the IPv6 router advertisement, which allows IPv6 clients to receive NAC64 mapping sphere router advertisement. Another IPv6 feature introduced is IPv6 support for SGT-based security solution on the 9500X and 9600X platforms. This allows for efficient use of switch resources in deploying IPv6 ACLs. With the Catalyst 9K family, we will offer the most comprehensive MDNS solution. In the enterprise, multiple vendors support MDNS protocols such as AirPlay and Google Chromecast, and these vendors are shown on this slide. Previously, service discovery agents and service sphere functionality was not supported on the Catalyst 9200 family. Now, with 17.11.1, the entire 9200 family of switches support service peer capabilities and can fully route MDNS traffic upstream to SDG agent, making the entire solution as a whole routing based. There is no more flood and learn, but all the MDNS protocols should be routed across the network with the Catalyst 9K family of switches. This is the industry's only solution that is robust, secure, location aware, and enhanced for network performance. On the programmability front, 17.11.1 brings support for gRPC dial-out tunnel where devices make a secure outbound connection to the gRPC tunnel server in order to expose GNMI API for operational use. Many devices can connect into a single tunnel server in order to increase operational efficiency. Additionally, zero-touch provisioning is now available. Another feature introduced in programmability domain is Yang models for PGP operation as listed on this slide. This concludes our presentation. We hope you enjoyed and please stay tuned for more videos.